गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विद द सेकंड चैप्टर एंड दिस इज पार्ट वन ऑफ सेकंड चैप्टर नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज एलिमेंट्स एंड कंपाउंड्स इफ वी लुक अराउंड आस वी सी अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ थिंग्स सच एज वाटर शुगर मिल्क salt tea fruits vegetable and many more things all these things are made up of different type of materials such as wood plastic iron metal etc but all of them are composed of very small particles known as atoms molecules and ions on the basis of their constituents or of what thing they are made up of the substances are classified as elements or compounds so let us begin with the first topic that is elements what is an element it is a pure substance which cannot be broken into two or more pure substances by chemical means so what is an element element is a pure substance means it cannot be broken or it cannot be further divided into more pure substances it is already pure by chemical means it is made up of identical or same kind of atoms what are atoms they are the smallest particle of the matter example of elements are iron copper silver gold iodine sulfur etc so all these examples which we have heard just now they are made up of same kind or similar kind of atoms there are no other kind of atom involved in these elements that is why they are called as elements classification of elements on the basis of their properties the elements are divided into four types what are the four types of elements metals non metals metalloids and noble gases noble gases are also called as inert gases so these are the four types of elements metals non metals metalloids and noble gases now we will study one by one all these four types of elements the first element is metals gold silver iron aluminium copper zinc mercury etc all are kind of metals they all are kind of metals if we look around ourselves just now we will find many kind of metals around us so most of the elements known to us are metals what are the properties of metals metals are hard except mercury which is liquid at room temperature except mercury this is an exceptional case mercury all the metals are hard you cannot bend them very easily if you apply force on them second property is metal are shiny 
दे रिफ्लेक्ट लाइट मेटल आर मेलेबल मेलेबल मीन्स दे कैन बी बीटन इन टू शीट्स एज वी नो एलमीनियम शीट स्टील शीट्स सो दे कैन बी बीटन इन टू शीट्स मेटल आर डक्टाइल डक्टाइल मीन्स दे कैन बी ड्रॉन इन टू थिन वायर यू कैन मेक वायर्स ऑल्सो आउट ऑफ मेटल मेटल हैव हाई बॉइलिंग एंड मेल्टिंग पॉइंट यू कैन नॉट ईजिली मेल्ट अ मेटल इट टेक्स अ वेरी हाई टेम्परेचर फॉर अ मेटल टू मेल्ट सो इट्स मेल्टिंग पॉइंट इट्स बॉइलिंग पॉइंट इट्स वेरी वेरी हाई मेटल आर गुड कंडक्टर ऑफ हीट एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी दिस मीन्स ईजिली हीट कैन पास थ्रू अ मेटल and easily electricity can pass through a metal if i give you one example the vessel in which your mother cooks rice it is made up of metal aluminium isn't it so why do we use aluminium to make cooking vessels because it conducts heat very nicely through it if we talk about electricity we take copper wire copper is again a metal why we take copper wire preferably because copper is a good conductor of electricity easily electricity can pass through copper and the last is metal are sonorous means they can produce sound when hit with other objects now coming on the second type of elements are non metal example carbon sulfur chlorine hydrogen helium oxygen etc some of the non metal pictures are given over here you can see that what are the properties of non metal now they are opposite of metals non metals do not have any shine or luster they do not shine like metals non metals are either soft solid or they will be gases as you can see they will be in the powder form as it is given in the diagram soft solid powdery form or in the form of gases they are brittle and cannot be drawn into wire brittle means very fragile they can easily break they can easily crack so they are not very hard so it cannot be drawn into wire it is non ductile then they are bad conductor of heat and electricity except graphite so graphite is the only non metal which conduct or which pass electricity through it other non metals are very poor conductor of heat and as well as electricity they have low boiling and melting point they can easily melt so the they have very low boiling and melting point they are non sonorous they do not produce any kind of sound so what are metals metals are just opposite of non metals the third classification of elements are metalloids example boron silicon bismuth germanium arsenic antimony these are the example of metalloids what are the properties of metalloids they are those elements whose properties fall between metal and non metal means metalloids will have some properties of metals and some properties of non metal they are the combination or you can say they are the mixture of metal and non metal they have appearance similar to metals they are less conductive in nature like non metal they do not conduct heat and electricity like non metal but they have shine just like metal then they are more brittle than 
light metal so just like non metal they are also brittle or easily they can crack or easily they can be hammered just like non metals they have similar chemical properties as non metals so the properties the chemical properties of non metals are similar to that of metalloids so what are metalloids they are combination of metal as well as non metals you can see some metalloids diagrams are given over here and the last one is inert or noble gases example helium neon argon krypton xenon and radon properties of noble gases they are the elements which do not react chemically with other elements what are the inert gases they are such elements which do not combine chemically with other elements for example hydrogen can combine with oxygen hydrogen is one element oxygen is another element so these two elements can combine with each other so they are not inert gases but inert gases like argon neon helium they will not combine with each other also or with any other element they exist singly in nature they exist alone in nature why they exist singly in nature because they are not ready to combine with other elements and they are available in traces in air traces means very very less quantity or very very less amount in the air so these are the four type of elements that we have discussed today in this lesson that's all for today do clear your doubts from me children if you have